Assalamu alaikum shamuta. This is Donna al -Tabi. And I wanted to make this a video. Um, kind of like talking about my past. So as y'all know me. Like I used to make music. And I used to do all these things. And be crazy. Be shiramuta. And like Nick Nate with so many gawads and harufs at freaking hotels in Washington D.C. Well guess what shiramutas. So I still want to do that. <laughs> because it's fun i want to do it because it's fun but i moved i'm not like washington dc's best girl but now i am like hawaii i'm in hawaii like oh my god yeah a lot like i'm in hawaii hawaii is so freaking beautiful i love freaking hawaii but there's no harufs here and i don't like to niche ni niche with white people i don't like to niche ni niche with black people i don't like to niche ni niche with asian people i don't like to niche ni niche with too much with Latino people, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even though I'm half Latina. I like to niche the niche with um my favorite is like Kuwaiti, Emirati, Qatari, oh my god, Qatari, and then like Saudis, you know. But I like to niche the niche Iraq people, but just from the Gulf, not from Syria or Palestine or Iraq and stuff like that. So yeah, but I can't because you know like there's like um the the situation you know what's going on the situation you know so i can't really like niche ni niche because nobody is traveling here to hawaii uh, <coughs> plus like hawaii is kind of like far from everything um but if you want to niche ni niche i'm in hawaii okay in Honolulu. um but yeah anyways i wanted to i made a list of all the guys that I've dated and I wanted to share this list with you guys why because I feel like so much time has passed it just doesn't matter anymore you know and there's like one million like Mohammeds one million Khalids one million Saeeds one million Mohammed bin Salman's like there's so many of them like can you imagine your name being Mohammed bin Salman and not being Mohammed bin Salman <laughs> okay so yeah I'm gonna tell you guys like how I met them how it broke up how was them how I'm gonna tell you all this information and my eyes are a little bit puffy because I was crying last night that's a whole different video okay this is better I think this is better okay so the first guy I ever dated his name was Khaled al -Nasrui. And everybody in my life will know how much I loved this guy. So I met him in, I'm going to tell you guys like facts, like, oh my God, okay. So I met him, no, I met his brother, Muhammad, and I think Muhammad liked me and I kind of liked him. Oh my God. Muhammad, okay, so let's start again, let's start again. So the first guy, right, Khaled, right? So I met his brother, first I met his brother, but it wasn't really clicking. Like there wasn't too much like, oh, I like you, you like me. But I think he did like me, he just didn't know how to show it. And his little brother, Khaled, he, he know how to show that he liked me. So I was like, oh, so Khaled likes me. So I started hanging out with Khaled. I took his number and like we started hanging out at the house, everything. And like, I loved Khaled. Like, I think Khaled is how I always wanted my Habibi to at least look like, you know? He had a big nose, like big Emirati nose. He had a nice beard, he had a nice car, he had nice everything. Like he was so cute. And he was really young, and I was really, really young too. And we had almost the same birthday. Like, I loved him. Like, I, I was crazy for him. And we dated for a long time. And I was a really good girlfriend. He was a really, really good boyfriend. Like, he used to take me to... Because I used to work at the time. And this time, I was Sharifa, right? So I used to work at this place. And, like, whenever I'd get paid, I needed to take out money to pay these bills and stuff. So he would take me in the snow to go get money from the ATM in his car because his car was good for snow and mine was not like he used to drive me and he used to like give me gifts and like be so sweet with me but it was a really beautiful relationship and he was from Abu Dhabi like 
and he's so handsome like I still have his Instagram and I still see his Instagram sometimes I'm like oh my god Khaled like you never stop being Jamil. you never I swear like when we broke up like I saw him two or three times at like hookah bars oh my god let me tell you when I saw Khaled at hookah bars though the time stopped and just I see him there's nobody else like I see him and oh my god like he takes over me like Khaled is just the most handsome guy ever we got Khaled on Mizrui. he's the most handsome guy ever and I love his mother and I love his sister and I love his stories that he told me and I don't hate him even though we broke up kind of ugly I don't hate him simply because I feel like so much time has passed and I really like to give credit when like you do something nice to me I will always remember that even though you may do like mean things after my heart is like so soft that I feel like you still did so many good things for me you know what I mean um I liked him a lot like he used to work out and everything like he was so fine like he was so fine but yeah we broke up because he started talking to this one Saudi girl and he thought I didn't know how to read Arabic and I do know how to read a little bit of Arabic and I know how to write Habibti and then I found out it's like a Saudi girl it's not like his cousin so I told him stop talking to her and he said no so I started talking to this Qatari guy who had a G6, G55 and then Khaled found out that I was talking to Michelle and then Khaled got mad and he broke up with me. But I was like, what the fuck? Because you were talking to a llama. I told you to stop so I wanted to give him his own medicine but Arabic guys, that's too much for their gallop. <laughs> so yeah, that's Khaled, right? So then after like a while, like later, later, I met this guy named Hamid al Raji in Washington DC and he was cool. I liked him. He was from Saudi. Uh, he was broke. Um, I didn't like that he was broke but at the time I was already Shuramuta so I was making like Falous, Katira. So it was okay, you know. If he can give me like love and he can give me attention, I'm like that's fine. Like even he's broke, like that's fine. So me and like Hamid, we were good. Like I really liked him. He was fun. He was young. Like he was crazy, much new. And, like he was so wild and like he used to help me make videos and stuff and like everything. So yeah, we like dated for a long time, and then he started to like act kind of like weird um, because he got transferred to Al Jamas to Pennsylvania. So he moved to Pennsylvania and then it was like driving four hours, like it was so bad, you know. So we ended up like breaking up. Um, and then I was so sad. When he broke up with me, I was like so sad. Like my heart was like broken. Like, and um, oh my god, I feel like I get so distracted easily. Yeah, like I was so heartbroken. I was like so freaking heartbroken when he broke up with me. Um, and he was like chubby but when we broke up like he lost so much weight he looked fucking ugly and then like three months later he came to my apartment and like knocked on the door and was like hi and I was like ew you look like on drugs like you look so bad so that was Hamid and then the next guy who I dated was Mohammed al Khandari. he was from Kuwait and oh my god he was so he was so funny like he used to be so fat and then he lost weight and he had like a lot of extra skin and that was like one of his insecurities um but i i didn't really care like i felt bad when he would feel bad about it you know but he was so funny oh my god he was so funny i used to love when he used to come to my mom's house and hang out with my mom my mom would like my mom really liked him like it was funny because one time he was in my mom's bathroom taking like a poop like and then um my mom's house doesn't have like shatav so you just use like moi right so muhammad calls me and he's like he's like donna bring me uh moi please i was like okay so i bring him moi <laughs> i open the bathroom door i give him the moi and then He's sitting in the toilet, right? And I'm taking a video 
<laughs> and I tell him, don't worry, it's just for me. I'm not gonna share it. And honestly, it was just for me. Until the day he made me mad. And then I posted it on my Snapchat and I had 200, like 244,000 followers on my Snapchat. I, I posted on my Snapchat because he pissed me off. You know why he pissed me off? And I broke up with him because of this, because it really hurt me. That's why I was like, there's no going back. I'm going to fucking share this video. Oh my God, that's so bad. Cut that part out. Cut that part out. Don't, don't put this part. Donna, don't put this part. Take that other part off. So he was talking to this Saudi girl in Arabi. And like I told you, I speak Arabi like I speak a little bit of Arabi and I can read a little bit of Arabi and I can write a little bit of Arabi like I'm not doo -doo -doo. I'm not so so yeah so basically I read what he was writing to that Saudi girl and then I took pictures of it everything and I sent it to my friend and my friend told me like everything too so I told him who the fuck is that and he's like oh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter she's black I'm like then why are you calling her Habibi and Galbi and Hayati and all these words? He's like, don't worry, she's like black and Saudi and um, like she's just a teacher. And I'm like, no. So I'm like, fuck you. Like I do all this fucking, and Muhammad al Khadri and Hamid al Rajid were so fucking broke. Like I used to do all this shit for them. Like they could not do shit for me. Like they were fucking broke asses. Like, and I didn't mind because at the time I was balling, you know, so I'm like, it's fine. But how can you be broke, not doing shit for me, and I'm doing so much for you, and then you fucking go off and freaking cheat on me? You know, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I'm sure Muta, like, and all these things, but, like, one thing I'm not is fucking stupid. So, yeah, like, so I posted that picture on my, on my Snapchat, and he would call me and call me and call me and call me and be like, take it off, take it off. I'm like, <gasps> What are you talking about? He's like, my friend called me from Kuwait City and told me you posted that. And they were like, is that you? <laughs> oh my God, cut that part out, cut that part out, cut that part out. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, oh my God, stop. Um, what else can I say about Mohammed Kandri? Oh yeah, he used to live in West Virginia. So I met him in DC, but he used to live in West Virginia, so I used to hang out with him only in the weekends. But it was rough because the weekends was the time when I had the most clients, but I would call off just to be with him. Like, that's how much I loved him. I loved him more than, like, my own, like, income good, you know? So, um... I thought I heard someone come in the house. I was gonna be like... Chapter 7 of me reading this book. Okay, so, um, okay, so one time Muhammad, like, he, like, did this joke to me and I didn't like it. So basically, he told me, um, like, he didn't know what April Fools meant. So April Fools is like when you say something, oh, it's raining, and then I look and you're like, April Fools, like, it's just like saying, just kidding, right? <laughs> so he told me this joke and he's like, oh, April Fools, ha 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 ha. I was like, that's not funny. Like, I forgot what it was, but it was, like, not that funny, and I didn't get it. So then I told him, hey, come to my Albay this weekend. Like, I'm going to be free Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's long weekend, so come. He's like, okay. So he would drive from, like, West Virginia to Washington, D.C., and when he got to my house, like, 20 minutes before he got to my house, I was like, <laughs> April Fool's, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> And he was like, because it wasn't even April 1st anymore, it was like April 8th, and no, it was April 3rd or 4th, and he's like, what the fuck, like, April Fool's is only on the 1st, and I'm like, no, it's not, like, you didn't know April Fool's is like all the all weekend long, <laughs> all week long, anyways, yeah, so, yeah, anyways, I have moved on with my life, like, I do like Arabic guys, I find them really, really, really attractive, but I just don't think like I'll ever date one again and maybe like to be honest like to be frank like I don't think an Arab guy will like ever date me either I feel like I'm too much or maybe like one day I will like like you know how Rihanna's mom was dating like an Arab guy and like Michael Jackson's sister was dating like an Arab guy like maybe that could be me in the future but I feel like I need like a really mature Arabi high one I'm just gonna get a mature Arabi guy to like actually want to date me because I feel like I I come with all these mental issues and all these problems, so... But I'm still available. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would still like to date an Arab guy. There's something about them that they are... 
like so close to where I'm from like I find comfort in them but so if you know anybody like if you have an uncle or something like that like message me on YouTube down below um but yeah, these are like the three guys that I really actually dated. And I know some of you guys may be like, well, you should have moved to, how did you date anybody? Like, please, please. Should I move to still have hearts? Should I move to still have feelings? Should I move to still do all that? <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And if you guys want to watch more videos like this, please let me know. I want to start doing like mood bombs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.